In this lecture, we are going to learn how to project data in aggregation framework. We have already learned about projection and how we can project data with fine method. But with aggregation framework, projection becomes more powerful. The project stage in MongoDB aggregation pipeline is used to reshape and restructure documents. It allows you to select specific fields, rename fields, create new fields based on existing ones and even exclude certain fields. Let's understand this project stage in MongoDB aggregation pipeline with an example. So here I am going to write another aggregation pipeline. So for that we will say db.employees.aggregate and as we have learned to this aggregate method we pass an array and in that array we can specify multiple aggregation stages. But here I want to use a single stage which is project and we need to wrap it within curly braces. So the name of the stage is project and to this again we need to specify an object and in there we can specify which fields do we want to include and which fields do we want to exclude. And to check that first of all what I am going to do is I am going to query the first document from the employees collection. So on the employees collection let's use find one method. This will return the first document. So in the result, let's say I want to have first name, gender and email field and we want to exclude this underscore ID field. So we have learned that when we want to exclude underscore ID field, we need to exclude it explicitly like this. And then I want to keep the first name. So I'll set it to one. I want to keep the gender. So again, I'll set it to one and I want to keep the email field. So I'll set it to one and this is it. This is how we can include and exclude field for including the field. We can set the field name with one or true and to exclude the field, we can set it with zero or false. If I go ahead and if I run this command, if I press enter, you see it is returning us a list of documents and in that document, we only have first name, gender and email. And as I have mentioned before, this aggregate method just like the find method it also returns a cursor and that you can confirm from this statement so here it has returned us 20 documents if we want to fetch more documents we need to type it to fetch more documents if i do that it is going to return us the next set of cursor so this proves that this aggregate method also returns a cursor all right so here we learned how we can include and exclude a field but we can also add our own field. So for example, instead of first name, so what I'll do is I'll move it to separate lines to make it more readable. Okay, and here, let me go and let me run, find one command on the employees collection. So for each document, you will see we have the first name and last name field. And in the result, instead of outputting only the first name, I want to output the full name. So for that here, I'll call this field as full name or maybe I can also call it as name and then I want to output the full name of the employee. So for that what we need to do is to this name field which we are adding newly this name field is not present in our documents we are adding it using this project stage. So to this we need to assign an object and what we want is we want to concatenate the first name and last name. And the result of that concatenation, we want to assign to this name field. And in aggregation framework, to concatenate two values, we have an operator called $concat. We can use this operator. To this operator, we need to assign another object in which we specify which strings do we want to concatenate. Here, we can also specify the hard-coded values. For example, John and Smith. Okay, so in this way, we can also specify hard-coded values and here it should not be a curly brace, it should be an array. But in this case, what will happen is for each document, the name field will be assigned with John Smith and we don't want that. What we want is for each document, we want to read its first name and last name. We want to concatenate it and that we want to assign to this name field. So here, instead of using the hard-coded values, we are going to specify the field names. So here the field name is first name and the 
last name okay and in between the first name and last name we also want to have a space so that also let's add here so this concat operator is going to concatenate these three string values first name empty string and last name now if i go ahead and if i run this command let's see if it works so let me paste this let's press enter and here we have an error and it says first name is not defined because here we cannot use first name and last name like this here we need to tell that this first name and last name are basically the fields of a document here it is thinking that this first name and last name are variables so that's why it is giving us this error first name is not defined now to tell mongodb that this is a field we can wrap it within double quotes like this and before the name we can use dollar symbol this tells that this first name is the field of the document let's do the same thing here so let's wrap it within double quotes and let's use this dollar sign before the field name okay now let me copy this command let's paste it here so as you can see we have wrapped the field names within double quotes and we have used this dollar sign before it to tell mongodb that these are field names and here i can see we have an error it should be name okay so let's copy it again let me try clearing the console let's paste it now and when i press enter you will see that now we have a name field where we have the first name of the employee and the last name of the employee okay so it is working as expected first name and last name of the employee so first document was john doe let's see that so you can see name is john doe so this is working as expected so in this way you can also add your own field by transforming existing fields now if you want we can transform these fields a bit more so now what we want is we want the first name and last name all in uppercase currently the first name and last name is all in lowercase so how can we do that let's see that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move these values of this concat array into separate lines to make it more readable okay so to this concat we have assigned an array in that array we have three elements the value of the first name field a string with a space and then the value of the last name field now what we want is we want to convert the first name and last name to uppercase for that what we can do is let's wrap this field within curly braces like this and in here we can use an operator called dollar to upper so this dollar to upper it will convert the value stored in this first name field all to uppercase we can do the same thing for last name also so first let's wrap it within curly braces and in that curly braces we will use dollar to upper operator and to that we will assign this field name whose value we want to convert to uppercase let me copy this let's clear the shell here and let's paste the query and if i go ahead and if i press enter now you will notice that in all the documents we have the name field but the value of the name field is all in uppercase so we also have this to upper operator which converts a string value all to uppercase this dollar concat operator it concatenates two or more string values now let's take this one step further so now what i want is i don't want to have all the characters of first name and last name in uppercase i want the first character of first name in uppercase and first character of last name in uppercase how can we do that let's see that so for that we are going to use another operator called sub strcp so to this two upper currently we are assigning the value of the first name so it is converting the complete value to uppercase but now we want to convert only the first character of the first name to uppercase for that what we are going to do this to this two upper operator we are going to assign another object a set of curly braces there we are going to use another operator called dollar sub str cp okay 
and to this sub str cp we need to assign an array in that array first we specify the source string from where we want to get a substring the source string will be the first name field so here let's say dollar first name this is the field name from here we want to extract a substring then we need to specify from which index do we want to extract the substring here we want to extract the substring from first index and then we need to specify how many characters do we want to extract here i only want to extract one character and i want to convert it to a package so this sub strcp it will extract the first character from the first name and on that we are using this to upper so that character will be converted to uppercase now we also need to fetch the rest of the characters from the first name and concatenate it with the first character of the first name now to get the rest of the characters of the first name what we can do is we can use this sub strcp one more time to this again we need to assign an array in that array we will specify the field name first so the field name from where we want to extract the string is first name field right and we want to start extracting from the first index at the zeroth index we have the first character and we don't want the first character now we want to start extracting the string from the second character so second character will be at index 1 first character will be at index 0 okay so here we are specifying from which index do we want to extract this string now we also need to specify how many characters do we need to extract so now we want to extract all the rest of the characters but we don't know what will be the exact length of the first name string or last name string right so now we have to get the length of the first name and from there we will subtract one to get all the characters from index one so we have already extracted the first character now we want to extract the rest of the characters so rest of the characters will start from index one and the length the number of characters which we want to extract is the total length of the first name minus one so for that first of all we are going to use the subtract operator we have seen this operator before and what do we want to subtract we want to get the total characters of the first name and also to this subtract we need to assign an array in that array we are specifying a set of curly braces where we are going to use another operator called dollar str len cp this operator will give you the number of characters from a string value so to this again we are going to assign the first name field which is going to store our first name so this str len cp it is going to calculate the total number of characters which we have in this first name field and from there we want to subtract minus one so i can say comma one so this is our subtract operator to this we are assigning an array the first element of the array is the value from where we want to subtract something in this case we are getting the length of the first name so from that length we want to subtract one so the one is second element here so this complete expression here it will give us all the characters from the first name except the first character and the above expression here this sub strcp it is going to give us the first character from the first name we are converting it to uppercase and then this concat operator is going to concatenate this string this string this string and i think i have missed a comma here somewhere okay here we should have a comma all right now let's go ahead and let's do the same thing for last name also so i'm going to copy these two lines i'm going to paste it here and now wherever we have first name let's change it to last name okay here also it should be last name and here also it should be last name let's try this let me copy this query let's clear the shell let's paste it here and if i press enter now you will notice that in the result for the name field the first character of first name is in uppercase and the first character of last name is also in uppercase okay so these are some string operators this sub strcp to upper concat and 
we have also talked about this string length cp so these are some string operators which we can use on a string value in order to transform a string value of a field according to our needs all right so in this lecture we learned about the projection stage and we learned how we can include or exclude the fields of a document from a collection we also learned how we can transform string values using different string operators like to upper sub str cp concat and then str len cp now if you want to learn more about these string operators again you can go through the documentation of mongodb aggregation pipeline and there you will see more about these operators so for example let's retract these stages and let's expand the operators so you can see str len cp sub str sub str cp here you can also see the subtract method which we used so if you want to learn about these operators you can simply click on these links and you can learn more about them okay then let me scroll down and we should have two upper so here we have two upper using which we can convert a string value to upper case in the same way we also have two lower using which we can convert the string value to lower case so if you want to learn more about these operators you can go through this documentation there you will also see some examples the syntax and how you can use them this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day